girls. I have such a fun science activity for us to do today. Now, it's actually pretty cool because it's science, but it's also a little bit of history and it's a craft. So it's really fun and it is called a catapult. Do you know what a catapult is? So a catapult is actually a machine and catapults used to be used to throw things like rocks to hit maybe buildings like castles. So if there was a bad guy, maybe they would build a catapult to throw a rock at someone's building or someone's castle. So that's what a catapult was. So that's our history of it. So they would shoot rocks and different objects to break things like castle walls. So now we're going to make our own catapult today. So what you need is you need some rubber bands. So I have a bag of rubber bands here. You're going to need five rubber bands. You need five. Then you can get craft sticks. They don't have to be colorful, but I got the colorful ones because I thought it would be more fun. You can get these from any craft store. You might even have these at home. So you're going to get those. And then you need an object to use to throw. So we are using pom-poms. So I have all different types of colors of pom-poms. But you could use anything that you have at home, any little object you see. So you could just walk around your house. You could use something like mini marshmallows. You could really use anything that you have laying around. Now, something that you could use, but I'm not going to do, is you could also get a hot glue gun or some super glue and glue on a water bottle cap to the top of this to hold the object in. You could do that, I'll tell you when you could do that, but I'm not going to, I'm going to show you how I make it. So first, we have 11 craft sticks. I have nine yellow craft sticks. I'm going to go ahead and get nine of them, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you see that I have nine craft sticks. I'm going to go ahead and get my nine craft sticks and place them together, nice and neat. Then I'm going to grab two of my rubber bands. One of my rubber bands is going to go on one side and you wanna tie them pretty tight, but be careful not to break them. So I have it on really tight on one side. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my other side. So I have both the left and the right side with the rubber bands on it pretty tight. So there we go. We have nine craft sticks with a rubber band on each side. Then I have two more craft sticks. I have a red one and a blue one. You could use any color you want though. And we're going to turn our nine craft sticks to the side. We're going to put one of our extra craft sticks on the bottom and one on the top. Now when I do this, I'm making like a T. See how I have the letter T? So I want to make sure that I have it so it's not exactly in the middle like this, like a plus sign. We want our nine craft sticks to move more towards one side. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab another rubber band and put it around our nine craft sticks and our two craft sticks like this. And we are going to go ahead and wrap it around tight again. So you'll see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like right now. And I'm going to go ahead and see how it's kind of off center. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side with a rubber band. So we're making an X. Okay, so now we have an X. So it kind of looks like a T, right? And we see our X made out of rubber bands. Next, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and I'm going to press the bottom down. 
so it makes a V out of our craft stick. So the side with all the rubber bands is the side that we want to press down. We're going to get our last rubber band. We're going to press it down nice and tight and we want to make sure that we tie this rubber band really tight at the bottom because we want it to stay tight together. Okay, kind of like this. So this is what our catapult looks like now. We see how one side is pressed down so we have this big opening where we could press and launch something. You see how that moves? Awesome, right? So this is what it looks like. This is what our catapult looks like. I hope you guys made it with me. Now we're going to try to launch an item. So remember how we talked about how in the past they would launch things like rocks at castles? Now, obviously we're not launching any rocks. We are going to do something like marshmallows or I have little pom-poms or really any little object that you could find at home. So now this is the time where if you want to get super glue or if you want to get a hot glue gun, make sure an adult does that part for you. But you can put a little bit of hot glue right at the top of your craft stick. And then you could put that water bottle cap down so it's easier so your object doesn't just fall right off like this. Now I'm just going to hold it down because if I hold it down, it's going to keep the object on it, we see, like this. Once I let go, did you see how high that went? I'm gonna do it towards the camera. So again, we have it, we have our catapult. I'll use the blue side this time so you can see this pink easier. I'm pressing it down so I could balance my pom-pom. Ready? Do you see it? It's going so high in the air. Okay. Boys and girls, we are going to test this out. Ready? So that one didn't go too far. If I bring it over towards my roller, I see it went eight inches. It went to the eight, so it went eight inches. Now you could also measure using just your feet. So you could say it went five of my feet. There's different ways to measure. You could use things like rollers where we have measurements on it like inches, or you could use different objects. So I could say it's five hand lengths or it's five feet lengths. So let's try this again. Ready? Let's see. Whoa, that went far. Let me show you guys where it went. It went all the way up here. Let's see how many of my feet it went. Ready? It went one, two, three, four of my feet. So that one went really far, guys. It went four of my feet. You guys did awesome today. We made a really fun catapult. Do you remember in the past way before you were born, way before I was born, how catapults were used. So remember, they were used to launch things like rocks at castles to make them fall down or to break them. Now we are using our catapult to see how far it can go. So we did this really fun experiment today where we got to see how far it went. Remember, you could use something like a ruler or a measuring stick to see how far it went, or you could just measure using something like your hands or your feet to see how far you can get it to go. So this is really fun. So you guys can play around with our science experiment to see how our catapult works the best. For example, you could move the top and the bottom stick around. You could push them a little bit more. You could pull them out, push them in the rubber bands a little bit more to see when your catapult works the best. Again, this is a science experiment, so we need to change things like, do the rubber bands matter? Does it matter how thick the rubber bands are? Or does it matter where the sticks are placed? How can we get our pom-pom or our marshmallow or whatever we are using to go the furthest? So that's how we can include our science into it. In our math, we can measure. 
So we could use something like a ruler or a measuring stick to measure, or we could just use our hands or our feet to see how far it went. So this was a really fun experiment that we got to do. And I really hope that you guys do it at home. It is so much fun. I hope you guys loved making your own catapult. I'm so happy that we got to make them together. I hope you have a really good rest of your day and you loved this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did. Have a really good rest of your day. Bye! Thank you for watching. I'm so glad you guys came to Mishy's Learning Center to watch my video. So, little change of plans. Originally, I was going to do a live stream every morning at 10 o'clock in the morning. But I do know that it is hard for some people to come every morning at the same time. So I'm just going to post a video every day before 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to try to have it posted nice and early for you guys. So make sure you come every single day to my channel for that calendar in the morning meeting and the fun activity that we do. Also, I'm still posting videos of experiments and activities on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So every single day, you guys should come back for my videos. I'll have seven videos a week. So make sure you're coming back to Mishy's Learning Center and you're ready to learn. Bye. Thank you for watching.